Megan with Grand Prairie Public Library and today we're gonna make some dinosaur cutouts like these guys and the ones with the four legs. Unfortunately this guy doesn't stand up when you twist the legs forward. I can kind of stand up and you can use normal paper, you can use cardstock, you could even use cardboard from cereal boxes from old cereal that you've already eaten. And what I'm going to do to get started is I'm going to just take a pencil and draw a dinosaur body with a shape big round shape for the body and this shape for the head sort of this one looks a little goofy but yeah I just want to get the idea across and then draw the tail. The tail also is going to help balance things and I don't know that I like that one but... And then what you would also do is once you've got the body down you would draw these big half circle shapes that you would put the... would end up becoming leg pieces and then you'd put a little notch in there to remind you to cut it when you cut that out. And another notch in the other set of legs. And then also put a notch towards the front and the back of the body that you would, once you cut that out, you would slot those in. And then, once you've got the body, you would take a permanent marker and outline it. And then, gonna cut this out. You could always look at reference photos like an old science book or just online if you've got a specific dinosaur you want to try and make. Rather than trying to say draw a triceratops from memory.
and let's cut out, take the marker again, and we're gonna just go back over some of these lines that I cut into a little too far, but it's fine because I've got a marker and ain't no big deal. Okay, and we're gonna take a, another marker. What's colored this time? Oh, nope. If I color it now, it's gonna leave the eraser marks in there. So let's clean that up a second. Okay. Now let's go ahead and take a marker. Once it's cut out and outlined up nicely, you can go and color it in. With markers, crayons, colored pencils, maybe you want to paint it. I don't know. Whatever floats your boat, man. That's done, and now all that's left is to test it out, see if it stands up. So it looks like that. And if I bend the legs forward a little. Okay, cool. 
I'll definitely be more sturdy if I used cardstock, but I don't have that right now, so paper works fine, and they look just kind of neat. So that's how you make a dinosaur cutout, and I hope you have a great afternoon. Thank you and have a good day.